All right, hi and welcome everyone. What a beautiful occasion to come together today for our International Yoga Day. My big love. So I'm glad that we have an extra day to celebrate it. I mean, I feel like we should celebrate it every day, all day. But it's nice that, um, yeah, there's one particular day where we gather together to really honor this beautiful practice and all the things it does for us. So a big thank you as well to our beautiful hosts today, to the Gardens of the Sun and Isabel Moon for actually making this all happen to connect all of us so we can spend some time together on the yoga mat. Um, I'm not sure if you know the two brands, they are both really beautiful. The jewelry is not just jewelry, there's actually in every piece um, is the intention of empowerment and uplift women and the Isabel Moon clothes are designed to, they're actually inspired by the shapes of women and they are designed to make you feel in your feminine power and just embrace your shapes as well and I really feel that as well. I'm dressed completely in Isabel Moon today and uh, whenever I wear those clothes um, I just feel like yeah you just you just feel it you're just vibing <laughs> and um, I hope um, that's us today on the yoga mat as well we just we go along with the flow you're in for a treat I would say it's a full body lengthening so we do a little bit of everything um, we stretch our body longs, but more importantly, we really go on that internal um, exploration, oh, um, just connecting with ourselves, pulling ourselves away from the outside, just to yeah, feel ourselves and get to know ourselves. Because often and easily that gets lost and we are either stuck in our head or stuck just outside of us, taking care of everyone else, but not of us. So yeah, today is the invite to come back to yourself. Um, I designed a little playlist for our yoga flow. So if you want, um, I pinned the, the link to the playlist in that chat window here. Um, and we might share that later as well for the people who do that session recorded. So you can um, get the playlist ready and I'll tell you then when to start. So we all start at the same time and it kind of aligns. I think um, this is it from my side for now. Um, we will connect after the class once more but yeah for now I just leave it like this and you can find um, wait <laughs> let's start. So um, I'm going to count down from three and then on one we all hit play. Are you ready? Okay three two, one, and play. And now let's settle in. So you can find your way onto the yoga mat and come into a comfortable child's pose. So maybe have your knees a little wider, then um, normally allow your belly really to sink between your legs and reach with your arms out wide overhead. Or if you prefer, you can also have your um, hands placed underneath your forehead to give your neck a nice relaxation and then just take a moment to to come back to yourself to return home to drop into your body let's empty out our brains so often we find ourselves in our head and we just spend so much time there and with that we we begin to believe into a reality that is really just made up from our mind and it's far far away from any truth but because we are so involved in it and so infused in it we start to believe that reality and we also fear that reality with our body so we almost live it as if as if it is real however it's so far away from any reality so let's just take a moment to pull ourselves out of our heads into our body to arrive in the present moment where where we really the only moment where we find the truth the real truth and the breath is such a beautiful tool to do that so feel how every inhale pulls you out of your head and brings you just a little deeper into your body. And this is a process that might not happen straight away. This might take time and that's okay. Allow it to be a process. And whenever you come back to that 
internal chatter. Don't judge yourself for that. Don't beat yourself up for it. Just knowledge and not acknowledge it, notice it, and then bring yourself back into your body. So every breath for effect is the invite to just drop back into your body, to come back into the present moment. Notice how this helps you to really slow down your whole world how tension literally starts to melt off your flesh, your bones, and how you just learn to embrace the, the support from underneath a little bit more. Let's stay here for two more. One more breath. Mm, snuggling in. And then walk your hands over to the right side of the yoga mat. If you want, pin your left hand down with your right hand. And then pull your left outer hip back in space. Feel the lengthening in your left side body. And then reset and walk your hands over to the opposite side. Place your left hand now on top of your right hand. Sink your heart down towards the earth and keep on pulling your right outer hip back in space to breathe into your right side body. Wonderful. Stay here for one more breath. And then start to walk your hands back to center. And then from here, back between your knees. Keep your sit bones heavy on your heels and then turn your hands around so your fingertips are facing towards your toes and the thumbs to the inner knees. Maybe walk your hands on the spot just for a moment, almost like a, a, a cat that is <laughs> ready for a nap and is just feathering the nest. <laughs> And then from here, start to draw your belly towards your forearms. Puff the chest of your heart up high and stick your butt out behind you like a cow stretch. And then with your exhale out, squeeze your sit bones towards another, curl your tailbone under, lift your navel in, draw your chin towards your chest, magnetize the tip of the nose with your belly button. With another breath in, start to widen your sit bones to the back of the room, draw your shoulder blades towards another, puff your chest up high, take that breath in with you. And then with an exhale out, start to round again. And keep on using those undulations, those movements with the breath to come back to yourself, going deeper and deeper. Let's go here for one more. Inhale. And exhale, press everything out. Squeeze everything out and receive it like a hug from the inside where no one else can hug you. Come then back into neutral. Walk your hands back out into a... Um, a normal position. Lean into your hands just slightly so you can tuck your toes under and then come into a squat with your knees being wide and your heels pressing against each other. Beautiful. Find your balance here and feel how squeezing your knees, um, sorry, squeezing your heels towards another helps you to become steadier. Lift your arms over your head, take a breath in, try to hold your balance. Then set your right hand down, aligned with your right hip bone, and reach with your left arm long, 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 all the way past your ear. Try to stay grounded through that left knee. With your next inhale, come back up, hold your balance, reach up towards the sky. Exhale out, place your left hand down in alignment with your left hip bone. Reach with your right arm all the way across past your ear. Try to keep that right knee opened. Stay here for another breath in. Exhale out, slowly coming out of it. Let your hands just rest on your thighs for another moment. Melt your shoulders, soften your face. Let then your knees come towards another and place your hands down in front of you, coming into a tabletop position. So place your knees underneath your hips, place your hands, your wrists underneath your shoulders. With your next inhale, over the side, lift your right arm all the way up towards the sky. Take that breath with you. With an exhale out, thread that right arm all the way through. Place your right shoulder plate and your right ear down. Watch your right foot. Try to keep that right foot in alignment with your right knee. And keep your hips stacked on top of your knees. Free then your left arm. Reach with that left arm all the way up towards the sky. And if it's there for you, you might even want to bring that right arm all the way around your lower back. Stay here for another breath in. Feel how maybe that bind you've created helps you to roll that left shoulder even more on top of your right shoulder. And then gently release. Place your left hand down beside your face. Free that right arm and extend it all the way out in front of you. Seal your right forearm down. Turn your right palm up the way. 
and then bend into that right elbow to place the hand just into the back of your neck or maybe between your shoulder plates and then sink into that right side body. Your left hand can help you to push a little more weight into that right side to really opening up through it. Maybe gentle movements helps you to go deeper and deeper physically but maybe also mentally and emotionally really exploring all the things they are not created by our mind but really right now right here and reset let your right arm come back out in front of you pull your left hand beside your right hand and come into extended puppy pose let your heart melt down towards the floor try to lengthen your lower back so in our first round draw your navel up towards your spine and try to make your sit bones face the back wall so your tailbone reaches away from your head Stay here for another breath in. Exhale out, create even more length from your fingertips all the way down into your toes. And then hug your front body into your back body like a cat stretch round and start to straighten your legs. So you come forward onto your thighs, onto your hips. Bend your elbows and let your elbows land underneath your shoulders so you are in a things pose from here. Press that floor away. Stay heavy through your legs. Push the front, the top of the feet into the ground. Maybe even that much that your kneecaps are floating off the floor. Pull your shoulder heads back in space and feel how your collarbones start to smile. But stay soft. It's still very effortless. It all comes with that taste of kindness and compassion for yourself. Let your chin come down towards your chest. And then gently roll your head from side to side. Releasing tension in your neck, in your jaw. Soften your face and with that automatically we soften our internal cheddar. Reset then from here. Let your chest come down to the floor. Bring your hands by your ribs and push yourself back up. Returning back into your tabletop position with your knees underneath your hips and your hands underneath your shoulders. Draw your navel up towards your spine, lengthening your spine. Left arm goes up. Take that breath with you. And then thread that left arm all the way through. Come onto your left ear, left temple, left shoulder. Free your right arm. Reach it all the way up towards the sky. Make sure your left foot is still in alignment with your left knee. And then reach around your lower back, keeping those hips on top of your knees. Maybe there's a left thigh, some flesh you can hold on to. And then use, wherever you are, use it to come a little deeper into that twist. It feels like you're rinsing out your own spine. Feel how your breath is there as a friend with every exhale. Ah, rinsing, twisting just a little more. Then reset, bring that right hand back down beside your face. Free your left hand and reach with that left arm all the way out in front of you. Let your forearm come down to the floor, elbow goes down to the floor. Turn your left palm upwards and then bend into your left elbow to place the hand against the back of your heart. You can use your right hand to help you to massage that left side body a little bit more, to marinate it in your own flavor, in your own compassion. Stay in here for another breath. And then reset, let, let, let that left hand come back out in front of you. Glide with your right hand beside it and then let your heart melt towards the ground. And this time, we let our belly come loose. It drops down towards the floor and our sit bones are actually allowed to flare and to face up towards the ceiling. Maybe with that you want to change from forehead to your chin. And even the parts of your armpit is sealing down. Feel how your breath is still traveling deep in this massage in your inside world. Stay here for another breath in, all the way from your stomach up into your heart space. And then press that floor away. Hug your front body into your back body. You round, your forearms are floating off the floor. And then gently push forward to seal your thighs and your hips down towards the floor. Bend into your elbows and come into Sphinx pose. Close your legs, maybe just a little closer towards another. Push that floor away and get a little bit of height through your chest. Having your legs charged, every muscle along your backside starts to wake up and squeezes. And it feels literally like one of those morning squeezes, <laughs> yawning with the whole body. Stay here for one more breath. Part your lips, exhale out. 
then come back down onto your belly, bring your hands by your ribs, push through hands and knees, tuck your toes under and find your way up into a downward facing dog, straightening your whole body long, relax your neck, let your head just hang somewhere between your arms, maybe paddle your feet, our first down dog of the day, how do you feel here? Mm, beautiful. Start to lift your heels up high, coming high on your tippy toes. At the same time, draw your chin towards your chest and curl your tailbone under and let your sit bones face towards your heels. At your highest point, pivot then on your feet and let both of your heels drop over to the left side. Bend your knees slightly, let your heart glide towards your legs. Squeeze into your left oblique so the left hip sways up towards your left armpit, squeezing into the left side body to opening through the right side body. Then come back up high on your tippy toes, inhale. Pivot on your feet and sink your heels over to the right side. Squeeze into your right side body to stretch that left side body long. Take another breath in. Exhale out. Come back high on your tippy toes. And then from here begin to walk to the front of the yoga mat. One foot in front of the other foot. Make that transition your mission. So don't be ahead of yourself. Don't think about the next posture asana. Can you actually feel every movement? Be so present that every movement feels like a party. <laughs> and then drop over your legs. Soften your knees with a rounded spine. Find your way up into full stand. Let them drop back down <sighs> to your outer hips. Ground through your feet. Spread your toes with a breath in. You reach with your arms over your head. Open your arms to the side, slingshot your heart forward, lean into your toes and find your way back down into your forward fold. Relaxing your neck, come into half lift, inhale. Free your right foot and step with that right foot all the way to the end of the yoga mat. Bend into your left knee and then drop your right knee down towards earth. Reach with your hands behind and then over you, undulating your way up, coming into a low lunge. Have your bicep beside your ears, palms facing each other. Keep your pelvis in a neutral position and then sink into your low lunge. Think of hugging your inner thighs towards another. So bring that right hip with you. So both of your hips bone, hip bones are looking forward. Take another breath in and receive length with that breath. If you exhale out, start to straighten your left leg, bring your hands underneath your shoulders and come into half split. So you don't even have to straighten that left leg fully and completely. Maybe you get more out of it by flexing your left foot and then also lifting the sit bones up towards the back of the room. Keep on digging your left knee into the floor and magnetize it towards your right knee. Stay here for another breath. Exhale out, walk back towards the front, frame your left foot, tuck your right toes under. Reach with your left arm forward and upwards to come into your easy twist. Draw your navel towards the inner thigh. Keep on shining fall upwards with your heart. Place your left hand back on the inside of your left foot. Turn your right heel down and then rotate on that left leg to come into Skandasana on your front foot. Beautiful. You might have to lift that heel off the floor and that's okay. Maybe you can lift your hands off the ground and that's okay. And in any sort of movement that helps you to go deeper, maybe even past the physical sensation, really feel ah, what is your reality that is not created by your mind, but really by the present moment. Turn back over your left shoulder, frame your left foot and then step it all the way to the end of the yoga mat. Your left foot meets your right foot. Come into a downward facing dog. Start to rise your heels up high, draw your chin towards your chest and then round your way forward. Come into a high plank. With or without your knees, find your low plank. Press your heart forward and upwards, roll over your toes, press the top of the feet into the ground, have a flex in your bicep and pull those shoulder blades together as if you want to protect the heart from the back. Hinge from your hips, shift your hips all the way over your heels. At the same time, seal your forearms down to the floor. Magnetize your elbows towards another. Tuck your toes under. Come up into dolphin pose. From here, lift your hips up towards the sky. Try to keep those elbows underneath your shoulders as you, <laughs> as you lift your hips up higher and higher. Stay here for another breath in. Ground of your head is away from the floor. Heart is melting towards your thighs. And then lift both of your elbows, if possible, simultaneously off the floor 
and come into a downward facing dog. Beautiful. Start then to walk your feet towards the front of the yoga mat. Again, step by step, really enjoying that transition. Maybe flexing those toes actively towards the shin bones so the heel grounds before the ball of the foot rolls down. Then micro bend into your knees, sweep your arms back and around with a flat back this time. Come up to stand nice and tall. Connect your hands above your heart center and then bring your hands down. With another breath, go again. And every breath gives you the invite to begin again, to come back in case you drifted away. So there is no need to hang on to any grudge. It's okay, just begin again. Come into half lift, lengthen your spine, lean into your toes, free your left foot and step with that left leg all the way to the end of the yoga mat. Lower your left knee down towards earth. Reach with your hands back and around in an undulated way up, coming into a low lunge. Try to have your pelvis in a neutral position here. So we want to connect our hip bones slightly with our ribs. Keep that connection as you sink to open through those hips. Keep on hugging your outer thighs towards another. Stay here for another breath in. With an exhale, press through your right heel. Let your hands land underneath your shoulders. Stick your bum out behind you and marinate now your right hamstring. Keep on digging with that right heel into the ground. Magnetize right heel with your left knee. And receive from here the rebound as well of lengthening your spine forward. Stay here for one more breath. With an exhale out, transition back forward. Tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee off the floor. Circle that right arm forward and upwards and come into an easy twist. Looking over towards the right side. Keep on pressing that left heel away. And from here, receive the rebound of lengthening the spine towards the front of the room. Stay here for one more breath. Bring then your right hand on the inside of your right foot. Turn your left heel down to the floor and then pivot on that right leg to come into Skandasana over on the other side. Make it tailored to your own needs. Heel up or down, hands down or up. What is it that really serves you rather than putting more stress into your body? So be true to yourself and be kind to yourself. Letting go of any expectations. Stay here for one more breath. Exhaling out. And then turn back over that right foot to come into lunge. Step right foot beside your left foot. Find your downward facing dog. Lift your heels up high. Draw your chin towards your chest. Round your face forward. Come into high plank. Stack those shoulders on top of your wrist. Press those heels away. Find your core. Draw your navel in. Then bend those elbows to the back of the room to lower yourself down. Push forward and upwards, come into your back bend, find your cobra, take that breath with you. Hinge from your hips and at the same time, seal your forearms down towards the ground. Have your elbows really landed underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, then press your hips up high and come into downward facing dog. If you can, this time walk your feet a little closer towards your wrists. Keep your elbows where they are. Walk your big toes together. And then start to lift your right leg up high to the sky. Really piercing the sky here with your right toes. And then if you can, see if you can lift a little higher on top of that left toes as well. Really moving high, high into that split. Reset. Place your right hand back down. Sorry, your right foot back down. Let's switch over to the other side. Lift your left leg all the way up towards the sky. Pierce the sky with your left toes. Then push even higher by lifting your right heel off the floor as well. Keep on working your core, keep your breath smooth. In those moments, we need our breath even more than ever. Well done, yogis. Place your left foot back down to earth. Drop both of your knees down to earth. Untuck your toes and then come into hero pose with me. Bring your hands all the way on top of your thighs, palms facing upwards. Close your eyes and then feel the after effect and go straight there. Don't even fix a brow or some hair. Just feel the firework. Feel your own rhythm, your heart beating behind your ribs. And then pick up your own rhythm and go on a dance with it. Rather than fighting it, manipulating it, let go of all that gripping and controlling and just go with the flow. Let's stay here for one more breath. Hide your lips, exhale out. Ah. If you had your eyes closed, blink them back open. Stay in your hero pose, bring your arms over your head. Take a breath in as you do so. 
exhale, cactus your arms. And it's not just cactusing the arms, it's actually coming from your shoulders. Pull your shoulder blades towards another and draw your shoulder blades as if you cr want to crack a nut that is between your shoulder blades. Then from here, bring your right elbow underneath your left elbow. If it's there for you, wrap your forearms around and place your palms against each other. Then from here, shift your fingertips further up towards the sky and create a little bit of a gap between your face and those forearms. So your forearms are vertical to the floor. Pull the nose between your ears so your head really sits on top of your spine. Drop those shoulders once more, but keep that space, space across your collarbones. And then from here, open over towards your right side. Try not to turn from your hips. Keep your hips stacked on top of your heels and release and come back to center. Free your hands, wipe them all the way over your head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, cactus your arms and with that pull those shoulder blades down and towards another. Bring this time your left elbow underneath your right elbow. Wrap your forearms around each other. Connect your palms. Reach up towards the sky with those fingertips. Keep your head on top of your spine. Drop those shoulders away, keep your collarbones wide, and then come over to the left side. Try not to move with your hips around, keep them really centered on top of your heels. Stay here for one more breath. It's twisting even a little deeper, exhale out, dropping that right shoulder even a little further down, and then release and come back to center. Let that eagle fly one more time, swipe it all the way over your head, and then place your hands back down on earth, Free your feet from weight and maybe give it a moment, tap your feet down if that felt fairly strong for yourself. Nice. And then tuck your toes under when you feel ready for it and we're going to go back up into a downward facing dog. Lengthening your spine here, letting blood flow back into our legs, enjoying it. Extending the spine along. Then walk your toes together at the end of the yoga mat. Press your left heel down and with that receive the rebound of lifting that right leg up towards the sky with a next inhale. Bend then your knee, pull your heel towards your sit bone. Keep it um, sealed and then bring your knee towards your chest as you round your way forward. Come high on your tippy toes, hug your front body into your back body, bring those shoulders above your wrist and then step that right foot down between your hands. Keep your right knee bent, turn your left heel down. Extended side angle, reach with your left arm all the way towards the front of the yoga mat. And then it's almost as if you're opening a door, start to rotate your right side of your ribcage up towards your left side of your ribcage. Keep your right knee bent and keep your left foot sealed down. Feel the power in your legs, feel the grounding energy through your legs and with that receive lifting and lightness. Stay in that shape as you are with your legs and then from here, carve your arms up, warrior two. Arms level to the floor, keep your right knee bent and make sure your right knee sits really still on top of your right hip and on top of that right ankle. Sink a little deeper into it and then reverse your warrior. Left arm goes down along your left thigh, right fingertips are brushing the skies to reach then all the way behind you. Stay here for another breath, breathing into your right side, side body, opening through the gills. <laughs> And then come back out of it, straighten your right leg as you do so. Level your arms to the floor. Reach with your right fingertips all the way to the front of the room. Let your right fingertips come down on your shin or to the outside of your right leg. And create one straight line from your right fingertips into your left fingertips. Activate your glutes, especially that left bum cheek. Squeeze into it to roll that left hip more and more on top of your right hip. Keep on pressing down through the left foot and the big toe of your right foot. Stay here for another breath in, exhale out, swipe of that left arm forward, frame your right foot, bend into your right knee, come onto the ball of that left foot. Lean more and more weight into your right leg. It's almost as if you're pouring all of your weight into your right leg and then so lightly pull that left leg up and come into warrior three. Try to create one straight line from your left heel towards the ground of your head. And imagine you're holding a watermelon <laughs> with your legs. So you want to squeeze your inner thighs towards another. Beautiful. The knee of your left knee is facing down. The toes of your left knee is facing down. Good job. And then bring your left knee into your chest. Soften your right knee so you can balance. Swipe your arms over the sides all the way over your head and come into stop pose with me. Bring that left leg all the way up towards your belly button. Reach a little longer. Externally rotate your left thigh and cross your left ankle over your right knee. Sit down into your standing pigeon pose. Magnetize 
your shoulder blades towards another and find another cactus shape through your arms. As you do so, make sure you still have your core activated. Draw your navel in towards your spine and cinch around your waistline, even then when you go deeper. Let's bring our right elbow underneath our left elbow. Wrap your forearms around if it's available for you. Connect your hands. Reach with your fingertips up towards the sky. Can you still keep that gap between your nose and your forearms? And can, can you still pull those shoulders up away from your ears? Stay here with me just for another breath. Balance exercises are so great to pull us out of our head into our body because as soon as we would start to think, we lose balance. Wonderful. Slowly finding your way back out. Let that eagle fly. Let go of your arms and let your left foot slide to the outside of your right foot so your legs are crossed. Take another breath in. Extend your whole body. Reach for the skies, but don't lose your roots. Open your arms to left, right, outside. Slingshot your heart forward and come into a forward fold. It's almost the same, just our legs are crossed. Feel how this changes the whole sensations within a forward fold. Come into half lift, then free your right foot and step that right foot centered to the back of the, of the yoga mat. Walk your left foot a little further over to the right side. Let that left knee come down towards the earth and you're here in your pigeon pose. Maybe untuck that right foot and glide into your pigeon pose in your preferred way. Just keep in mind, we want to keep our hip bones in alignment. So don't open to the side. Bring that right hip forward and roll it down. Have your hands on the outside of your left knee and your left foot. Puff your chest, come up high, nice and tall without losing the length in your lower back. Keep on reaching that right leg out of your hip and then surrender. Exhale, let your heart melt towards the floor. Your elbows can be on top of your wrists like dragon wings. With another inhale, find your way back up again. It's really as if your breath is climbing up the ladder of your spine all the way to the ground of your head and then oh, you're deflating back down towards the earth. Stay here for one more breath. Inhale, come up nice and tall. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders and seal your palms flat down. Tuck your right toes under. Draw your navel towards your spine and puff or dome the back of your heart up towards the sky. Press into the right toes and then bring your left knee into your chest. So we are in a three-point plank. From here, tiger curl even more. Pull that knee even closer between your hands and then step that left foot back through your hands. Well done, everyone. Easy twist from here. Bring your left fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Make sure your right palm is flat. Turn the knife edge of your right foot down and lean more and more into your right side body. Find contractions of your right oblique. Bring your hip and your ribs a little closer together. In a million baby steps, a one big step, Find your way with that left foot coming behind your right knee. Left knee is bent. Once you're grounded again, start to press your left arm past your ear towards the front of the yoga mat. Squeeze even more into your right oblique and let your hip lift up towards the sky. Stay here for one more breath. And then find your plank position. Left hand beside your right hand. Left foot beside your right foot. I know it's strong. Stay here just for a little longer. Inhale. Bend your elbows to the back of the room, lower your weight down, exhale. Push forward and upwards, come into your back bend, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhaling out. And then stay here for a breath and you can also just drop down onto your knees. Or you can come into child's pose all the way down or dolphin pose. Stay here for one more breath. Exhale out. From here, let's now begin. Lift that left leg all the way up towards the sky. Keep on pressing through your right heel and with that, receive the rebound. Going higher and higher and higher. At your highest point, start then to pull the heel towards your sit bone. Curl your knee towards your chest and then round your way forward. Step your left foot through between your hands. Bring your right heel down towards the floor. Keep your left knee bent and keep the connection between your left knee and your left bicep. From here, swipe your right arm forward and use that as an invite to open your chest towards the side of the room. So feel how you really roll your right shoulder on top of your left shoulder, how you keep on scooping your left rib cage up towards your right rib cage. Keep that left knee bent and keep your right foot sealed down. I know it's strong, but the beauty in it is that from and amongst all that strength, we find our breath and then we find spaciousness and we find lightness. Keep your legs as they are as you come back up. 
arms parallel to the floor, warrior two, look over your left hand, sink a little deeper into it, have your hips still in a neutral position, so lift your hip bones up towards your ribs, and then reverse your warrior, bring that right arm down along your right thigh, reach with your left fingertips all the way behind you, stay here for another breath in, and then push through your left leg as you come back out, arms parallel to the floor, Tri tri uh, triangle pose, tri konasana, reach forward, let your left hand come down either on your shin or on the floor on the outside of your left leg. Reach with your right fingertips all the way up. Squeeze into your right bum cheek, both bum cheeks actually, but especially the right one. So you roll that right hip more and more on top of your left hip and then find the extension. So we ground, yes, but from here we feed into the lifting energy up towards the sky. Stay here with me for another breath in. Exhale out. And then reach with your right arm all the way to the front. Frame your left foot, come onto the ball of your right foot, bend into your left knee. Maybe shorten your stance, or maybe you're good from here, like claw the yoga mat. And then pull yourself more and more forward. Lift that right leg up. Keep on extending from the heel to the ground of your head. Imagine again, you're squeezing the inner, your uh, watermelon with your inner thighs. So it's almost like you want to roll that right hip slightly down and you want to lift your left hip a tap further up high. And from here, create length. Stay here for one more breath. Then curl into your right knee, bring it all the way into your chest, soften your knee and come up, standing nice and tall. Pull that right knee straight up towards your chest. Cross your right anchor over your left knee. Bring your hands to your heart center. And then from here, sit down into your standing pigeon pose. So remember, we want to really brace our core. So this gives us stability. There is an arch in our lower back a little bit, yes. But we don't want to overarch. We don't want to let all the energy spill out through our stomach. Keep it tight. Keep it locked. Cactus your arms. Draw your shoulder blades towards another. And then bring your left arm underneath your right arm. Wrap your forearms around each other, connect your palms. Reach back up towards the sky without losing depth in your shape. Infuse breath to stay spacious. Stay here for one more. Exhale out. And then slowly release, come back up into standing. Let that right foot glide to the outside of your left foot. For your hands, swipe them over your head. Inhaling, with an exhale, surrender, fold back down over your legs. Again, feeling into the change, into the shift that comes by just changing little things up, like crossing our ankles. Stay here for another breath in, and then free your left foot, and step your left foot all the way to the end of the yoga mat. Step it centered, and see if you can Walk that right foot just a little more outwards so you can let your right knee sink to the floor to find your pigeon pose on the other side. Snuggle in and if you have to change anything in the setup, maybe you have to bring that right foot a little further down to your left hip, please do so, that's totally fine. Shimmy with your hips as much as you have to. Hmm. And then let's again drink in that breath from the very bottom all the way up into your chest, into our chest. Bend your elbows and let your heart melt down to the floor. Exhale. <sighs> Take another breath in. It is almost as if your body turns into an energetic straw and you drink it up, 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 up high to the very crown of your head. Exhale. Mm, surrender back down to earth. So nice, you guys. Come back up once more. Inhale. Bring your hands back in front of your shin bone, underneath your shoulders. Palms flat. Tuck those left toes under. Hug your front body into your back body. Dome the back of your heart up towards the sky. Come off that right leg and then hug it into your chest. Stay in your strength. Keep on pressing even more away and then kick that right foot chip, through to land it between your hands. Good work. Come into easy twist. Bring your right arm up high to the sky. Keep on spiraling your belly button towards the side of the room. Turn your left bicep towards the front of the room. So even here, we want to keep our collarbones wide and long. Stay here for one more breath. Shift more and more into the left side. Come into your left hand. Come onto the knife edge of your left foot. Maybe from here straight away, a million tiny steps. Lift that right leg up and step it behind your left knee. Once you're there, use your legs to oh, lift up higher and reach further to the front of the yoga mat. Stay in that shape. Express yourself in that shape for two more breaths. Find freedom and lightness with that breath. 
So nice, you guys. And then let your right hand come down beside your left hand. Step your right toes over beside your left toes. Bend the elbows to the back of the room. Come into low plank. Push forward and upwards. Come into your baby cobra or full cobra. Keep your knees grounded. Push your hips back over your heels and come either into child's pose or hero pose <sighs> to feel the echo of your efforts, of your practice. Feeling alive. Feel how life, prana, literally is massaged into every cell of your body and how your inside then comes back alive. So often we walk through our life being there physically, but not really being there. We're everywhere else, but inside of ourselves. And with that, our insight is not really alive. It's not really communicating with the external. So here we are to activate our internal in order then when we step off the yoga mat to communicate with, with who we are instead of just that shape, that body that is walking zombie-like through life. Feel how your own light begins to shine brighter and brighter. Stay here for two more breaths. One more breath. And then release and bring your hands back down in front of your shoulders, tuck your toes under and with that glide your way back up, come into your downward facing dog. Step your big toes together once more at the end of the yoga mat. Think about, think about grounding first through both hands and your left heel. From here lift that right leg up high towards the sky. Pull your heel towards your sit bone, your knee towards your chest, round your way forward. forward. And the more height you can create, the easier it will be then to step that right foot straight between your hands. Sink into your right hip, into your right knee, reach with your hands back and around to undulate your way up, come into your crescent lunge. Take a breath in here, stay in your lunge, have your pelvis in a neutral position, so think about lengthening the lower back here. Then draw your elbows down to your outer ribs. And then this time, bind behind your back. So keep those shoulder blades connected, still cracking that nut with your shoulder blades and then interlace your fingers. Draw your hands down towards your left heel. Keep on pressing that left heel away from you, bend into your right knee and then from here, take a breath in from the bottom of your pelvis, drink it up into your chest and puff your chest up high to the sky. Stay here for another breath in. With an exhale, come over your right knee, bowing down on the inside on top of it. Stay dynamic with your next inhale. Come back up again, puffing, that, puffing your heart up towards the sky. Exhale out, come over your right knee. Maybe without letting go of that bind, turn your left heel down to the floor, rotate on that right leg and come into Skandasana like we did at the very beginning, just way more challenging now with that bind behind your back. See how you go. Stay here for one more breath and then twist your way out the same way you got in there. Well done everyone, free your hands, bring them over your head back into a crescent lunge. Exhale out, keep your bicep beside your ears, pour more and more weight into your right leg, lift that left leg up behind you and then pull your whole body long. Bring your left knee into your chest, come up nice and tall. Cross your left leg as high as possible over your right leg. Maybe wrap your toes around your calf as well and sit into your eagle legs. Stay here for another breath, lengthening, drinking in that breath all the way up into your fingertips. Exhale out, foot beside your right foot, slingshot your heart forward and come into a forward fold. Whew. Exhaling out, come into half lift, inhale, free your right foot and step it all the way to the end of the yoga mat. Extend your whole body long from the heel to the ground of your head. Come into easy twist. Brush the outside shin with your left hand. Bring your left hand all the way on top of your right hand. Spiral your belly button over to the left side, but don't lose length. So imagine someone is squeezing you from the lateral side. So the only way your energy can travel really is up and down and up along that left arm. Stay here for another breath in. You have two options. Either you go through the same transition like in our first round, turn onto the knife edge of your right foot and step over. Or if you want, maybe, how would it feel like to grab that left foot? 
Activate your core, draw your navel in, cinch your waistline, lift that left foot up, bend into your right knee, and then extend that left leg up towards the sky. Stay here for another breath in, exhale out, and then from here let's all meet in a plank position again. Left hand beside your right hand, left foot beside your right foot. Bend the elbows to the back of the room, come into Chaturanga, push forward and upwards. Find your Cobra. Charge your legs, have your core engaged and come into a downward facing dog, exhaling out. Stay here for one more breath. Let it all out. Beautiful. Ground through your right heel, lift your left leg up high to the sky. Bring that breath with you, higher and higher and higher and then at the highest point, start to curl your left knee into your chest and undulate your way forward. Step left foot through between your hands. Ground through your legs, reach with your hands back in around. Come up into a crescent lunge. Reaching all the way up towards the sky. Then cactus your arms. Keep your pelvis in a neutral position. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards another. And then come into a bind behind your back. Let's place the other thumb on top. Draw your knuckles towards your heel. Lock that knee out if it's there for you. Take a breath in from the right toes all the way up into your heart center and then puff that chest up towards the sky. Take another breath in here with an exhale bow over your left leg. <sighs> Come back up again with your breath. Feel how that breath lifts you higher and higher and higher. Exhale out, bow over your left leg. Turn your right heel down. Turn on that left heel and come into Skandasana with your arms spine behind your back if it's there for you. And if not, give it a go, play, fall out of it, laugh and go again. Find your way back. Come back into crescent lunge, unbind your arms, come all the way over your head, inhale. And then from here, shift into your warrior three. Try to keep your bicep beside your ears as you slowly lean more and more into that left leg. Pick your right leg up behind you. Extend long. Soften your left knee, curl your right knee up into your chest and come with me, standing nice and tall. Find a gaze of stillness to hold your balance. Cross your right leg as high as possible over that left leg and then squeeze your knees towards another or your inner thighs towards another and sit down. Stay in here for another breath in and then reset. Right foot beside your left foot. Catch a breath at the bottom of your feet. Drink it up into your fingertips. Open your hands to the side. Slingshot your heart forward as you come into your forward fold. Hmm. Come into half lift. Inhale. Free your left foot and step it all the way to the end of the yoga mat. Lengthen from your heel to the ground of your head. Hmm. Exhale out. Find your easy twist from here, press the outside of your right shin, creating one straight line left from your left hand into your right hand. Squeeze everything from the outside to the inside to create even more length for your whole body. Then from here, turn onto the knife edge of your left foot. Let's go again, maybe on that side if you didn't do it on the first side. Again, there is the invite just to try and then fell and try again. So catch the right foot with your right hand. Activate your core, dome the back of your heart up and squeeze your left side body. And then from there, maybe it's there for you to lift that right leg up high. Bend into your left knee, start here, then straighten that right leg. And then maybe begin to straighten that left leg as well. Reaching into all the corners of your body as good as you can. Well done, with control. Come into plank position, right foot beside your left, right hand beside your left hand. Inhale to extend. Last chaturanga, exhale out. Push forward and upwards. Come into your baby cobra, full cobra. And then all you have to do from here is just finding your way back onto your stomach. Turn your toes out. And then bring your elbows in front of your shoulders. Connect your palms. And connect your thumbs with your third eye. Let your thumbs rest on the inside of your eyebrows. And then let go of any sort of controlling. And soften your whole body again. Feeling yourself, feeling how you are alive, but calm at the same time. Or maybe not so calm yet, because yeah, it was a pretty intense flow, but feel how everything begins now to settle again. 
And from that space, remember and remind yourself that we always see things and perceive things for, from or through our own emotional lens. So there's always that filter, consciously or subconsciously, between reality and the way we see it. And if our emotions are in a high, normally the light, the world seems a little brighter and lighter. And when we are betrothed, then normally it echoes the darkness and the world seems a little darker and maybe unfair sometimes. In those moments, can you then come back to that moment right now, right here, where you realize it's our emotional lens that is coloring it. And that also means that we actually can influence it. We can change the way of how we perceive things. Stay here for one more breath. Exhale out. Let everything just drop and melt off your body. And then all you have to do from here is just flipping over, coming onto your back. So you don't even have to turn around. Just roll. <laughs> Pleasure full <laughs> onto your back. Center yourself here. Hug both of your knees into your chest just once more. Giving yourself a hug and really let it be a hug as if you would hug your best friend and also feel it as a hug as it would be a hug of your best best friend. Massaging your lower back. Then hug or crunch your nose up towards your knees so you can either reach for the knife edges of your feet or your ankles, open your legs to the sides and come into your happy baby pose. In your happy baby pose, try to keep your sacrum connected to the floor and keep the back of your neck long so your chin is kind of half pulled down towards your chest. So your spine is still in this beautiful S shape of itself as you start to open more and more through the hips. Stay then here for one more breath. Party lips, exhale out. And then let your heels come together from here. Step your feet down to earth. Check in with yourself once more if there's something else you would like to do to, um, to get rid of those last edges that you can then fully settle and surrender into your Shavasana. Feel free to do that and join in your own time where we splash out completely and fully with our arms extended to the sides. And, the, uh, and our legs reaching into the corners of the yoga mat. Neck relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Our whole body is so relaxed that maybe it almost feels as if we are disconnected from that physical body. And with that we can enter another level where we notice and we recognize and we come to realize that we are so much more than just that body and our name, our age, our jobs, our titles. That this is really just our vessel, but we are so much more. We are connected, all of us, on a different level. And there we come to realize that we are nothing but everything at the same time. We are all the same. So if you, if you can relate to that, if you feel like it, feel free to drift out of your body into that space in the in-between where we everything and nothing at the same time.
Mm. And then slowly, without any rush, find your way back into your body. Welcome yourself back home. And from that space, start to reconnect then with the external. Pointing one feel after the other, back outwards, without losing the connection to yourself. So once you step then off the yoga mat, you, you are still you. You don't lose yourself as you move throughout your day. Gently inviting movement back to your body, wiggling your toes and your fingers, maybe moving the tongue around inside of your mouth. Maybe another reviving breath, a deep tummy breath. <laughs> and then when you feel ready, come over onto your right side body. Hug your knees up into your chest and rest your head on your arms for another moment. Gently pressing earth away to come into a seated position. Make it a comfortable seat for you with your ankles crossed, your spine extended nice and tall. Physical comfortable, but then also really let it be an emotional comfort for yourself as well. Being grateful for who you are being grateful for what you do and what you have. Know that you do enough and know that you have enough. And then let's connect our hands and let's connect those hands with our heart center. Feeling our physical heart beating behind our chest but also our energetic heart twirling and spiraling behind our thumbs. Let's bow our brains, our intellect down to the hard wisdom. There is so much wisdom within us and often we seek for the answers outside of us. However, we hold them within us. We just have to listen. Thanks so much for jumping online and flowing with us and sharing your energy with us. From my heart to your heart. Namaste. Thanks so much everyone for joining. I hope technology was all right through the flow and you enjoyed it. My name is Mimi and if you want to connect with me, the best way is normally on Instagram. My tag is Mimi underscore go for fit. I would love to hear from you. Enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening, whatever it is where you are. Thank you. <laughs> Mm-hmm.